Within the tumour microenvironment, cancer cells can influence their surroundings through proteins expressed on their surface to evade host immune responses. One immune response that tumour cells exploit is the well-known PD-1 immune checkpoint to inhibit the adaptive immune response. Another immune checkpoint called TIGIT is a co-inhibitory receptor that is expressed on multiple immune cells. TIGIT binds to several ligands, two of which, CD155 and CD112, are expressed by many tumour cells. TIGIT's main ligand is CD155, also known as PVR, and TIGIT has lower affinity for CD112, also known as Nectin-2. TIGIT binding to PVR, or Nectin-2, promotes T-cell exhaustion. TIGIT expression causes activation of regulatory T-cells, or Tregs, which selectively suppresses certain affected T-cell responses and immune activation. Competing with TIGIT for binding to PVR and Nectin-2 is CD226, or DNAM1, a co-stimulatory molecule expressed by NK cells, T cells and monocytes that activates the immune system. TIGIT has a higher affinity for PVR than DNAM1 does, which tips the scales towards suppression of cytotoxicity and cytokine production in both T cells and NK cells. In many solid tumour malignancies, TIGIT is highly expressed on immune cells, along with high expression of other inhibitory receptors, including PD-1. The combined action of TIGIT and PD-1 signalling in the tumour microenvironment leads to further suppression of anti-tumour immune responses by T cells. Osiperlimab is an investigational humanised monoclonal antibody designed to bind to TIGIT with high specificity and affinity. Osiperlimab has competent FC effector function, which is thought to enable optimal antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity. As shown in preclinical studies, binding of osiperlimab to TIGIT reduces the number of Tregs in the tumour microenvironment. Osiperlimab blocks the interaction of TIGIT with PVR and Nectin-2 to increase the availability of PVR and Nectin-2 for DNAM1 to bind. Collectively, this leads to activation of T-cells, NK-cells and myeloid cells, resulting in an increase in cellular cytotoxicity, cytokine production and a pro-inflammatory environment. Osiperlimab also removes TIGIT from T-cell surfaces in an FC-dependent manner. Osiperlimab is being investigated in combination with an anti-PD-1 monoclonal antibody, tizolizumab, in several types of advanced or metastatic solid tumours. Tizolizumab is an anti-PD-1 antibody designed to minimise FC gamma receptor binding on macrophages in order to avoid antibody-dependent cellular phagocytosis, a potential mechanism of T-cell clearance and resistance to anti-PD-1 therapy. Dual targeting with osiperlimab and anti-PD-1 antibodies such as tizolizumab has been shown in preclinical studies to provide synergistic immune cell activation and enhanced anti-tumor activity relative to osiperlimab monotherapy. Dual PD-1 and TIGIT blockade is a potential promising combination immunotherapy in solid tumor cancers.